Have you ever wondered how a missile can travel hundreds of kilometers, fly so low that it almost touches the ground, and still hit its target with almost surgical precision? Today, we are going to dive into the Tomahawk, one of the most advanced cruise missiles in the world, to discover how it combines autonomous navigation, smart sensors, and a design built to evade modern defenses. What you will see next reveals why this system changed the way modern wars are fought. The foundations of the Tomahawk date back to the 1970s, when a challenge was being tackled to create a missile that combined power, autonomous navigation, long range, and the ability to operate in environments where external signals can be lost or interfered with. This goal led to the integration of inertial guidance systems, digital terrain maps, optical sensors, efficient engines, and lightweight yet durable metal structures. The result? A prototype that over time would evolve into an entire family of variants adapted to new missions. The platform never stopped improving. As technology advanced, infrared sensors, image correlation systems, bi-directional data links and more powerful processors were added, turning the Tomahawk into a modular missile capable of networking with other combat systems. This evolution also brought with it greater industrial complexity. It's not about assembling parts on an assembly line, but coordinating a supply chain that involves exotic materials, advanced electronics, and millimeter-level quality controls. At every phase, there are strict protocols to ensure that the missile can operate in extreme temperatures, intense vibrations, and hostile environments. The entire process begins with the arrival and verification of raw materials. The materials are not integrated immediately, they must first pass through a strict chain of checks that determines if they meet the required standards for a high-demand system. Each batch arrives labelled with its history recorded and undergoes reviews that analyse its physical condition, chemical composition and its ability to withstand mechanical and thermal stresses. Structural parts are typically made from alloys of aluminum, titanium and advanced composites chosen for their combination of lightness and strength, as well as their stable behaviour in the face of vibrations and sudden temperature changes. The electronic components, on the other hand, are received encapsulated in armoured modules that protect the circuits and minimise any electromagnetic interference. This stage operates almost like a very organised industrial kitchen, each element is perfectly identified, documented and placed in inspection stations where cleanliness, exact dimensions, absence of corrosion and the overall condition of the material are checked. Only when a part demonstrates full traceability and meets all established parameters can it move to the assembly line, where it will begin to transform into part of the final system. The missile's body is formed from plates, cylinders and metal profiles that undergo machining, precision cutting, drilling and shaping processes. The tolerances are so small that even a deviation of less than a millimetre could alter the aerodynamic behaviour during flight. In the workshops, high-speed CNC machines, assembly robots and stations where specialised technicians perform joins using controlled welding or structural adhesives designed to withstand prolonged vibrations coexist. The three main sections, nose, central fuselage and tail, are manufactured separately and then joined on alignment benches, which ensure that the final geometry is perfect. Before continuing with the assembly, each component undergoes a series of exhaustive tests to check for any signs of weakness. Ultrasound, industrial x-rays and specialized systems are used to detect micro defects invisible to the naked eye. Even the tiniest crack the size of a hair could jeopardize the entire mission as the missile must withstand extreme temperature variations, strong pressure changes, prolonged vibrations, and the forces acting on it from launch to impact. Each section must prove it can endure it all without failure. Once the shell is completed, the most sensitive phase begins, the integration of the internal systems. This is where the navigation processors, avionics, thermal sensors, GPS module, gyroscopes, accelerometers, and infrared seeker are inserted. The front seeker is the piece that allows it to distinguish a target, even when visibility is minimal. In situations where an optical camera would fail, fog, dense clouds or nighttime conditions, the infrared sensor interprets the thermal signatures of the environment and acts as an additional guide. The internal electronics are organized through protected harnesses, fiber optic cables and armored conduits that act as veins within the fuselage. 
Each module is mounted on removable rails, allowing maintenance, updates and replacements without redesigning the entire structure. Before closing the casing, tests are performed to evaluate response times, communication between modules, latencies and synchronization. It's a nerve-wracking verification of the system, a reflex test that ensures the missile will react in milliseconds to any command. At the centre of the fuselage are the fuel tanks made from lightweight alloys and corrosion-resistant treatments. Their cylindrical design optimises internal volume and maintains the pressure necessary to feed the engine during the flight. The Tomahawk begins its journey with a solid fuel start motor, which acts as a catapult that expels the missile from the launch tube. Once the initial thrust is separated, the true engine kicks in a compact turbofan that prolongs the flight by consuming fuel at an extremely efficient rate. The retractable air intake automatically deploys and channels the airflow that feeds the engine. Each fuel line is tested for leaks, irregular pressures or blockages. A failure at this stage would compromise not only the flight, but also the safety of the launcher. The Tomahawk's aerodynamics are designed to balance two priorities, low detectability and stability. To achieve this, the missile's wings and fins are made from composite materials that can withstand intense vibrations without deforming. While stored, these surfaces remain folded to occupy the minimum possible space. At the moment of launch, speed and pressure sensors activate hydraulic actuators that deploy the side wings and secure the rear fins. These surfaces generate the lift necessary for level flight and allow the missile to navigate at extremely low altitudes, using the terrain as cover to avoid radar detection. The Tomahawk's navigation is a technological choreography where everything works simultaneously to ensure the missile never loses its course. The first element to spring into action is the inertial system, an internal compass that does not rely on external signals. With gyroscopes and accelerometers recording every turn, shake and speed change, the missile can keep its orientation even in areas where any other reference disappears. It's like carrying an internal map that updates every second. This map is supplemented by GPS, which corrects small errors accumulated during the flight. If the inertial system is the memory, the GPS is the constant confirmation that the missile is going exactly where it should. The combination of both creates robust navigation, hard to interfere with and almost impossible to deceive. When the missile flies over land, the TC arm system comes into play, comparing the terrain's relief with pre-stored digital maps. It's as if the missile runs its finger over mountains, hills and valleys to check that the silhouette of the ground matches what was expected. This terrain reading allows it to fly very low without deviating, using every curve and elevation as natural camouflage against radar. If the terrain is too flat to use the relief as a reference, the Tomahawk changes tactics and activates the DSMAC system. A camera captures real-time images of the surroundings and compares them to pre-programmed photographs in its memory. By detecting elements such as roads, rivers or buildings, it can confirm its position even in areas where any human would see a repetitive landscape. In the most modern versions, all of this is complemented by an infrared seeker capable of identifying the target by its thermal signature. This allows it to distinguish structures, vehicles or infrastructure even under rain, fog, smoke or complete darkness. The missile doesn't need to see the target as a conventional camera would. It recognizes it by its heat. As it progresses, the Tomahawk maintains constant communication with the control center thanks to a bi-directional data link. This channel allows it to update coordinates, change the route, confirm targets or even cancel the mission if the situation requires it. It is not a missile that is simply fired and forgotten. It can adapt on the fly according to the information received, reducing errors and improving accuracy in complex scenarios. Together, all these systems function as layers of security that overlap to ensure the missile reaches exactly where it was ordered, regardless of weather, terrain or enemy interference. It's precision navigation taken to the extreme. As the Tomahawk approaches its target, it combines precise navigation with maneuvers designed to minimize its signature on enemy radars. Flying just above the ground is key. The missile advances following the contours of the terrain, sacrificing some aerodynamic efficiency but gaining invisibility. It can also loiter in circular patterns over an area, managing fuel and speed based on the received orders. If the mission changes, secure protocols for self-destruction exist, preventing the unit from being captured. The detonation varies depending on the scenario, direct impact, ideal for structures or vehicles. Proximity, 
suitable for targets where a precise hit on the surface is not necessary. Before a missile leaves the factory, it must pass a series of tests designed to expose any faults. In the test benches, communications, sensors, actuators and the synchronization of all systems are evaluated. Next come the environmental tests, where extreme vibrations, sudden temperature changes, humidity, accelerations and forces replicating the real flight conditions are simulated. Each result is documented in a detailed history. Hardware version, software, batch number, electrical parameters, tolerances and even material traceability. This allows for preventive maintenance to be managed even months or years after its manufacture. When a missile is stored, it must undergo recertifications where joints, connectors, seeker calibration and navigation parameters are checked. Maintenance doesn't wait for something to fail. Critical parts are replaced and algorithms are updated to keep the platform relevant for decades. Missiles are stored in climate-controlled facilities to prevent degradation of the fuel or electronic modules. During transportation, certified containers are used to absorb shocks and vibrations. And as we observe everything involved in building, guiding and maintaining such a system, it becomes clear that the Tomahawk is not just a missile. It is a platform designed to adapt, learn and remain relevant even decades after its creation. Behind every launch, there is precision engineering, tactical decisions and a complete network of technology working silently to ensure that each mission is completed exactly as planned. Every component, from its sensors to its engine, exists for a very specific reason. And together, they make this missile one of the most influential tools in modern warfare.